Good, if you are ready, let's go ahead and start warming up. You're gonna need a little bit of space side to side, nothing to trip on. So what we will do is start off and you just wanna loosen up that body and correct any bad posture. If you have any forward lean, we correct that now. We go big dramatic circles back and down. Work the breathing. Take that step side to side. Start getting that body warm. Excellent job. Good, so I'm doing my big shoulder rolls back and down. I'm releasing any tension I'm holding through the neck. Good breathing. Excellent job. Good, so I got my legs going. Just starting to get the body moving, warm up. We do a warm up and a stretch at the same time. So let's go ahead and put the shoulders back and down. Make sure the neck is long and then you're gonna go big reach up. And I wanna go straight up. I don't wanna go out in front. I wanna go straight up and get that stretch through the back. Good breathing. Good. Again, you could take this a little bit faster, a little bit slower. We're getting that body warm. We're getting it stretched out. Keep it going. Excellent job. Good breathing. Give me four, three, two, and one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and keep the legs wide and kind of do like a little pivot and reach up. Now you keep going, I'm gonna talk through this. When I'm up, I want a nice diagonal line. I don't wanna go out in front because I'm gonna lose that stretch through the rib cage down to the hip. So over, over, not in front, okay? Good, keep going. Get that stretch. Loosen up that body. Warm it up. Good breathing. Keep that going. Excellent job. Couple more in four, three, two, one. Now tighten up in the abdomen. We do that just to protect the back in case there's a little back lean. We're gonna start lifting up that knee. You can even take your time and hug them in. We're gonna move out those hip flexors. Knee up, knee up. Good, keep that going. Excellent job. Nice breathing. Engaged abdomen. Knee coming up. Excellent. And you guys are on mute, so feel free to listen to some music as you do the class. Good job. Awesome. Okay. And four, three, two. Feet are about hip width apart. Chest stays up. I'm going to squat it down and lift it up. And these are my warm up squats. So I'm going to make sure I have good form which is gonna put my butt back and down, my spine straight. So butt back and down. And when I'm in my low phase, the knee should be over about midfoot. So if you need to glance at that, feel free to do that. <clears throat> Keep that going. Excellent job. And great. Okay, so now we're gonna go to a jumping jack. Do modify, do regular. I'm gonna say modify now, okay? But again, you could do a regular jumping jack or get that heart rate up a bit. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent job. From here, I keep the legs wide. I'm gonna kick it on back. Stretch it out quad. Warm up hamstring. Now let's get those arms going. Pull, pull, good. So as I pull back at that stretch of the chest, warm up that back, pull it, come on. Good, keep that going. Stretching and warming up, excellent job. Good breathing. Excellent job, almost there. And give me four, three, two, one, abdomen tight. If you get dizzy, you're just gonna look forward. If you can, you get that twist, twist, twist. Good, wake up that core, get that stretch. Keep that going. Excellent job, good. So I'm reaching across my body. You're gonna feel that stretch maybe in the hip. You're gonna feel it in the back of the arm, waking up that core with that twist. Keep it up, excellent job. 
Cool, in four, three, two, and one. Abs tight, kick it out, kick it out. Awesome, so I'm doing a little kick out. These are not like aggressive kicks. We're just trying to get some movement, hip flexor still, yes, and then elongation through the hamstring, back of the leg. So as I do this, abs are tight in case you got a little lean back. You can get your kicks up a little bit higher than me. But again, it's not like an aggressive kick, not like a kickboxing kick. We're just kind of stretching it out. Keep that going. Abs stay tight. Excellent job. And in four, three, two, and one. Cool. My feet are about hip and part a little wider is okay. Chest stays up. I'm gonna squat it down and I'm gonna pop up on toe. If you can do that, go for it. If you don't feel comfortable with the balance, you could hold onto a countertop or back a chair or just do a normal squat. Continue to breathe. Good job. So I'm doing my squats and these are not my most aggressive squats. I'm just kind of coming down to what's ease and comfortable. I'm feeling that stretch to the backside on that dip down, warming up the legs. And then when I come up, I do pop up to the ball of the foot. And I'm feeling now the activation in like the calf. I'm getting that stretch out through the ankle joint. Good breathing. Awesome, last one. Okay, modified or regular jumping jacks. Go regular jumping jack if you want. Let's go. Good. Move it. Good. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Cool. Okay, brace yourself. You need to put your hands out for balance. That's okay. We're going to circle that leg. This is about your range of motion. So get that leg up, circle it out. Good breathing. Good. Keep that going. And again, your hands can be out, feet up for balance. Take your time. It's about your range of motion. One more each side. Cool. So now I'm going to do the reverse of that. I start with the leg wide and I bring it back in. Leg wide, bring it back in. Hands wherever you need them for balance. Good breathing. Cool. Last one. Okay, abs tight. We're gonna go hands out. And these are kind of for balance and a little bit as markers. And I'm gonna swing kick it side to side. Good breathing. Get that swing kick side to side. Get that stretch a little bit more on the outside of the leg. Good. And again, my kicks are pretty low at this point, but you can get your kicks up higher. You might even be able to touch your toe. Go for it. Continue to breathe. And in four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna put my hands on my hips and I'm gonna draw circles with my hips. And this is gonna help loosen up the low back. If you feel a good stretch and you're just like, I wanna hold it there, feel free. Continue to breathe. Excellent job. Keep that going. Circling it out. Awesome. Let's go ahead and switch directions on the circle. Nice circles. Good job. Very good. Okay, so now I'm going to choose a couple staggered stretches to do. If you have another stretch you want to do, that's fine. This is your time. So I'm going to go ahead and I have my stretch leg. I want to have a soft knee. I don't want to invert it. I'm going to go straight leg, soft knee, meaning I'm not locking it out. Pop that toe. Now my other leg has a little bend. I can put my hands here or I can reach down to what feels comfortable. We do not put the hands on the straight leg. We're at more of a risk of inverting that knee if we put some pressure there. So make sure it's on the supportive leg that's bent. Continue to breathe. Give me some nice deep breaths. Deliver oxygen to the muscles now. Feel that stretch in the back side of the leg, all the way from the calf up to the glute. Slowly up, switch the legs up. Take your time. Same idea, straight leg, but it has a soft knee. On the heel, pop that toe. The other leg has a bend. 
Um, you can either reach down the way you feel comfortable to, or you can put your hands on the supported leg. You can even do this in a chair. How you would do this in a chair, so you would scoot your butt to the end of the chair, straighten out one leg, pop that toe, reach on down. And that's a good one to do throughout the day. Go ahead and slowly come up. Cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go for hip flexor. So right here, I'll put my hand right here so you see what's going on. So I'm gonna go take a big step forward. I'm gonna try and put my back heel on the ground. I'm gonna bend that front knee and my hip flexor drives forward, okay? So get that hip flexor stretch, keep that heel down, get that stretch in the back of the um, foot, the Achilles. Now this is optional. The leg that's back, same side arm can come up to continue to stretch a little bit deeper, but you don't have to. Hold that. Good breathing. Excellent job. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch up the legs. So that's a big step forward. My feet are about hip width apart. I wanna try and keep my back heel on the ground. And again, my hip flexor drives forward as that knee pushes forward. I'm gonna like almost like a lunge. Hip flexors forward, arm can come up, optional. Good breathing. Cool, we did it. Okay, now some of you guys haven't drinking any water today, so you need to grab yourself just a real quick sip of water. Go ahead and grab a quick sip of water today. We're using our body weight, a mat, and dumbbells, okay? So if you haven't grabbed water today, just put a little something in you, okay? Awesome. Now, when you're ready, go ahead and come back to me. Chest stays up, feet about hip-width apart, and we're gonna squat it out, okay? Cool, so this is just, we'll talk through it, and then we're gonna build on this. So my chest stays up, and what I mean by that is I don't want my chest to fall forward. That's too much going on in the low back, okay? So the butt needs to drive back and down. Now maybe you need to counteract that and put your hands out. That's gonna help you out with balance, okay? Go for it, that's good. Excellent job, keep that going, keep that going. So let's talk. The feet are pointing forward, the toes are pointing forward, the knees point forward with that. When I'm in my low phase, the knee should be about over midfoot. And when I push up against gravity, I'm anchoring through that heel into the ground. I wanna make sure I'm not rocking on the feet. And what I mean by that is I'm not going to the outside of my foot or my instep. I wanna keep that press pressure even on the up. Okay, you got it. Let's add some stuff to this. I'm gonna go squat down. I'm just give myself a little bit of space. Step forward, lunge. Squat down, switch legs, lunge. Squat it, lunge it. Squat it, lunge it. Cool, keep that going, keep that going. Excellent job. Squat. Now, I'm doing this thing with my arms, and that's an option, you don't have to, but it's so that I don't fall forward with the chest. Keeping my spine up. Good breathing. Now let's talk about that lunge. When we lunge, the body weight's in the front leg and pushes off the front leg. We are not pulling through the back leg, okay? Good, keep that going. Cool. Now let's go ahead and get to your right leg and stay there. Get to your right leg and stay there. Lunge position, your right leg. Are you there? Cool. Lunge down. Now you have options. You can either come up, you could tap, you could go high knee or a kick. Okay, so I'm gonna show tap, I'm gonna show high knee, and I'm gonna show a kick. Pick what you wanna do, let's go. Okay, so now let's talk about that lunge again. Because this back leg is popping up for a lot of us, we wanna be careful we're not jumping out of the back leg. So I'm gonna show back form. Pushing off that back leg is bad form. What I want to do is I want to stomp through that heel of that front leg, really making a connection, heel into the ground, feeling it in these big muscles in the hamstring and glute. Cool. You got it? Okay, let's get a little bit more interesting. Some of you guys need a challenge. Are you ready for it? If not, stay here. Let's go. I'm going to go one, two, hold it, one, two, down, down. And this is a challenge for some, not everyone. If you want it, take it. If not, continue with what we were doing. 
Keep going. One, two, one, two. Awesome, one, two. So when I'm up, really flexing my glute to hold the balance on the kick out. Okay, so feel that glute, squeeze that glute, work it. Woo, good job. Keep it going, keep it going. Give me a couple more. Woo. Last one. Okay, we're gonna cardio rep it out. This is kind of mean, I know. I'm gonna go knee up, knee up. And some of you guys can actually kind of bounce and jump. I'm not some of those guys anymore. Okay, I'm gonna stay on the ground. Pull that knee, pull. So I'm gonna show you my spine is straight. I'm in that lunge position. I'm not jumping off the back leg. My body weight's held through this front leg, okay? Pull that knee, pull that knee. Runner, spine straight, abs tight. Breathe, jump it if you can in eight. Come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, good job. Walk it out a second. Walk it out a second. Okay, we're gonna shake it out. And when we shake it out, I know this isn't the nicest thing to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and have you go fast feet. If you can't do fast feet, you can't do the cardio, just walk it out, okay? But if you can, fast feet, fast feet. Good breathing, come on. We got some fast feet going. Excellent job. As soon as it's down, it's back up. These feet are moving fast. Good job, shaking it out, shaking it out in five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Okay, last time we did a squat with a step four. Now we're going to squat a step back. So I'll show you side view. Squat, back step, Squat, back step, got it? Cool, my spine is straight. My chest is up for the most part. My legs are about hip width or wider. And my legs are a little bit wider at this point for helping my balance. Cool, now again, it's that same idea. We don't wanna jump off in that lunge. We don't want to jump off that back toe to come up right. We want to stomp it out through that front leg. Make that connection to those big muscles in the hamstring and glute. So let's be aware. Mind to muscle. Feel those muscles. Whew. Good. You got it. Looking good. Excellent job. Make your way over to your left. You got it? Left leg is forward. Okay. Now you have options. We can lunge. We can lunge and tap. We can lunge and high knee, or we can lunge and give a kick. Let's go. Find where you're at. I'm gonna keep repeating this because it's so important. Again, we do not jump off the back leg to bring that body up right. You're gonna lose a lot. I want this front leg to absorb the weight of the body. I'm gonna push down through that heel. I'm gonna feel these big muscles. Don't wanna lose that, okay? I don't wanna waste your time. I want you to get the most out of every single workout. So we gotta do things right. Good. Not just go through the motion. <sighs> Hands are getting in for balance. Keep it going, keep it going. Now, uh, safe to say, maybe you're just stepping back and kicking, and that's okay. But if you can, add a dip down, kick out. Dip down, kick, okay? And that's not even just going for kicks, that's going for the knee up or the standing up right too. Cool, okay. For those of you who need a challenge, you watch me now. If not, keep going, let's go down. Down, up, squeeze, glute, kick, kick. Down, down, kick, kick. <sighs> Excellent job. Keep it going. Hands where I'm in for balance. I'm dipping down, coming up, squeezing that glute, getting off a couple little kicks. Beautiful. Good job, good job. Chest stays up. Good breathing. You got this. Feeling that quad, feeling that hamstring, feeling that glute, growing stronger. Beautiful, give me one last one. 
Awesome. Okay, I'm going to run her. I'm going to hold. Spine stay straight. I put the body weight down to that front leg. I pull that knee up. And again, you can jump it. I'm not jumpy anymore. You go for it. Pull, pull. Come on, come on. Get that heart rate up. Breathe. Let's go. Let's go. Spine stay straight through the neck. Let's go. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, whoo, and one. Shake it out. If you want to, fast feet. If you don't want to, walk it out. Let's go. Let's go. Fast feet. Fast feet. Whew. Come on. Come on. Almost out of water break. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. In five, four, three, two. Walk out. Get your breath under control. Go ahead and grab yourself some water. Come back with dumbbells in hand. I'll meet you back here in about 30 seconds after you get some water with your dumbbells, okay? Awesome, so that was a really good series. Let's do a little health check. You are in control of your breathing. You can do three deep breaths in and out without stalling, okay? If you can do three deep breaths in and out, if you could have a conversation, you are ready to move on. If not, you take a longer time, okay? There should never be any blurriness in your vision, any fuzzy walls around your vision, okay? These are indications that you need to stop, take a time out, make sure you're all right, okay? You good? If you're ready, feel free to join me. Knees are soft, abs are tight. So what I do when I sing soft knees is I kind of have like a little bit of a bounce in them. I'm not locking them out, okay? So sometimes you see me even shake my knees out just to make sure I'm not locking them. Cool, okay, we are ready. Let's go ahead and go forward raise. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my palm here. I'm gonna rotate, the palm faces down, the wrist stays straight. Maybe a little bend in the elbow, but not much. And then I'm gonna go arms up and wide, okay? So I'm gonna go forward raise to lateral raise. Forward. As I do this, I want it to be tight in my core. And there's a few reasons why I wanna be tight in my core. I don't want to, I'm gonna show bad form. I don't wanna push through my low back. That's no good. I wanna be tight in the core to support that back. Okay, because when we tighten up in the abs, it's gonna automatically tighten up in your back for you, which is nice. Good breathing. Excellent job. So my goal here is to try to bring the weight, the height of the shoulder. But if it's a little bit heavy, you have options. You can either do less reps, you can do less weight, or you can do a little more bend in the elbow and not coming up as high. Awesome. You don't even have to use any weight at all. If you got some shoulder stuff going on and any of this hurts, back off the weight and just go through the range of motion with the arm weight. Awesome. Okay, you're good, you're good. Last one. Now we're gonna take this, tighten up in the core so we're not shaking in the hips, so we'll engage the core, and I'm going L-shape, hip, L-shape, hip. Give me those L's, back to the hip, L to hip. Good, and I'm trying to keep my arms straight. You can see I got a little bit more weakness on one side, so there's a little bit more of a bend in that arm. But I'm doing the best I can. And you are too, so let's go for it. Good job, keeping that core tight. <sighs> Beautiful job. And finish it up one more each side. So I can get my other side in. And great, now I'm gonna just shake it out. Give yourself about five seconds. Shake it out, breathe. <sighs> cool, okay. So you got a little cardio arms coming up. I'm gonna go ahead, I keep my knees soft, I'm gonna keep my abs tight, and I'm gonna go ahead and go battle ropes, okay? So I'm holding the weight, and I'm gonna go extend it out, pull it back in, okay? So you got those ropes? You're that cool guy at the gym who's on the battle ropes, you got it? Let's go. Pull it, come on. Get those ropes moving. So right now, you wanna stand on count with me, and I'm gonna go a little bit faster, okay? So I'm gonna go four, three, two, pick it up, let's go, eight, 
seven, tight out, six, five, four, three, two, slow it down, four, three, two, one, pick it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slow it down, eight, four, three, two, and whoo -wee. that's good, okay, give yourself a breather, shake it out, this next one, if you want to, if you've taken the class for a while, or you've been working out with weights for a while, you want a little bit of a challenge, you have options. Do you have a heavier weight you'd like to try? We're gonna go single arm um, uh, back fly, okay? It's a strong muscle, but it's gonna be hard because you have to engage your abs. So you have options. You could do just your weight. If you have good grip and they're small enough weights, you could double up the weight as long as you have a good enough grip and it's not gonna fall. Or you could choose a heavier weight. So I'm gonna pop it down my spine stays straight, okay? My knees are bent. Now you have options. I need the support. I have to have my hand here, but not all you guys need that extra support. If you want that challenge, you would put your hand out like so, and you keep that oblique nice and tight, have that bend, and lift it on open. Okay, so I'm gonna use my arm for support, but again, you can go, and you can use lightweight or heavier weight I want you to feel those obliques. Let's go. Eight more. Come on. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Spine straight. Five. Breathe. Four. Tight obliques. Three. Great job. Two. Almost. One. Coming up. Shake it out. Weight each hand. If you need to grab it, if it was on the floor, go ahead and do so. I'm gonna go robot arms. This is not chicken wings, it's robot arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cool, you ready? Same position, coming down, hand can be out, or you could support, spine is straight through the neck. So maybe you need to look at me, and then you gotta put your head back down, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my arm, and I'm gonna go open. I'm really engaging oblique. Come on, feel that back fly. Work your back, work your shoulder, work your obliques. Let's go, let's go. Nice and strong. I even feel my back as I engage and hold this position. Great. Keep it going. Keep it going. You're nice and strong. And an eight, <clears throat> seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Cool. I'm going to come up right. I'm going to shake it out. I'm going to go ahead and kind of make sure I got the posture in my back. I'm going to go thumbs open. Okay. My knees are soft and I'm gonna open it up, thumbs up. Open it up, thumbs up. Good job. And an eight, seven, six, <clears throat> five, four, three, two, done. Cool, shake it out. Now we got to do bow ropes, was like working the shoulders and biceps a little bit. So let's go ahead and do something that's gonna work the triceps a bit more, okay? So I wanna go into a tricep one. I'm gonna start you off with skier arms. A little bit of tricep, a little bit of shoulder in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some like pulse backs. So I'm gonna go skier arms for eight, pulse backs for eight. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have my legs about hip width apart. If you wanna make it harder, you can always bring it a little closer because you're gonna have to really engage your abs so we're not swinging. And I'm gonna go one arm, push it back as far as you can, and the other arm comes up about shoulder height. <clears throat> now I'm swinging my arms, and ideally, I would like to have enough core control where I'm really tightening in my core, so I'm not shifting the weight. I'm not shifting my body weight, okay? So I'm nice and strong in the core. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Now both hands are at the hip and I'm gonna pulse back. I wanna make sure I don't have shrugging shoulders on the neck, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, repeat. Eight, feel those triceps, they should be burning. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, arms back, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, arms are tired, but let's go ahead and try. If you can, one more round. Can you try? Let's go. Eight, seven, tight abs. Six, engage that core. Five, breathe. Four, put that arm back there. Three, two, done, pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Great. <sighs> Shake it out. Grab a breath. Sneak in some water if you'd like. We're going to pull up the mat. We're just going to do a quick little series that's more like classic core, thinking of like abs, and then we're going to go ahead and go back to legs, okay? Water if you need it. Okay, so I have my mat. I'm gonna set it up. Take your time, no rush. Join me when you can. I'm on the mat, and we're gonna go into some planks, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go onto my forearms. I can stay on my toes and forearms. When I'm on my forearms, the body weight should be elbow directly down from shoulder, and I have fist or straight arms, straight hand, I'm sorry. And I wanna put the body weight through fist or hand, form and elbow, not just elbows, because that's gonna to put too much pressure into the shoulder. Do you hear me? I'm not just putting body weight in my elbow, that's too much pressure. So again, elbow down from the shoulder, body weight uh, diffused through that whole arm, and I could be on my knees, or I could go onto my toes. Now, for you, your spine is straight, mine's a little up, so my butt is a little bit up right now, but you need to keep your spine straight. So the back of your head to the tip of your butt should be a nice long plank. Your abdomen wants to drop with gravity. Draw back in, pull in below your belly button, continue to breathe. You got it? Cool. Saw motion eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Now for you, you're gonna tap out if you can. Tap wide, tap back, tap wide, tap back. I'm gonna go to my knees. From my knees, I can go knee up, knee up. You got it, tapping, let's go. Eight, seven, breathe. Six, tight abs. Five, four, almost. Three, long, even through the neck. Two, and done. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna go quick stretch back. I'm gonna just do a quick release on that stretch back, child's pose, and then I'm gonna flip it over. Good job, good job. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna go ahead and set up for a crunch. So my crunches, obviously, are not getting up very high these days. But what you can do is make sure you're breathing a normal breathing pattern. I don't, because if we're gonna pulse, I don't want you just breathing out, out, out really fast. I want you to gently place your fingertips behind your ears. The spine stays in a nice fluid motion. We don't go rigid neck forward, that's bad form. I wanna engage low abdomen. I'm gonna push down below my belly button. I'm gonna engage there. I'm gonna lift that chest up. Okay, so I push down so hard, I'm able to lighten up the load on that upper body and my chest is able to come up. I'm gently, I'm not pulling through my hands, I'm gently supporting my head, just taking off a couple pounds from my neck, okay? And you don't even have to do the hand at the neck, okay? You could put your hands forward and slide forward. You got that? Okay. Now, you're gonna get up a little bit higher than me. We're gonna pulse it out. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift one leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm gonna keep going, lift the other leg. If it becomes too much, just stay back to one of the previous ones or take a break. Cool, both legs up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two. Now you have options. You can go leg down, keep the leg, or leg down on the ground. I'm gonna have to put mine down, but again, yours could stretch out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch it. Leg is out. Remember, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, legs up, legs up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Split L shape. Can you do it? If not, leg down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Split L shape or leg down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Stretch out. Good breathing. Long spine, long abdomen. Good breathing. Good job. You did great. So what I need from you right now, make sure you got nothing to trip on. We're going to clear the mat. We're coming back to legs. So why don't you sneak in some water, clear your space, get ready for legs, okay? Okay, so I'm getting ready for legs. I don't need it, just my body weight. I almost grabbed my dumbbells and I was like, nope, we're just doing body weight today. Which is nice. It's nice to just focus on sometimes one thing. Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off this round a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and take those legs about double hip width apart, okay? Chest stays up, we don't fall forward. So I'm gonna stack my vertebrae on top of the hips. I'm gonna start off, squat it down. Lift it up. Now your hands can be out for balance wherever you need them. I'm gonna keep mine like right here. And that's because with this big belly, I keep falling forward a bit. So I'm kind of like um, putting this here to block myself from falling forward. If you find yourself falling forward, maybe it's a good idea for you to do it too, okay? So let's talk about the feet. My feet are set up maybe about double hip width apart, a little bit wider. My toes are pointing to the outside uh, corner walls and my knees follow that point, okay? I don't want the knees going in. I don't want them pointing forward. I don't want them too wide. They need to follow the point of the toe. Good. Now, when I'm in low phase, I'm gonna get low to push back up. I want to press down through the heel a little bit more. And then when I come up against gravity, I'm gonna squeeze my tush at the top and I'm gonna magnetize my inner thigh. So I'm gonna squeeze it, draw it in. Glute tight, inner thigh pull towards each other. Pull. Pull. Good, work those muscles, you're doing great. Cool. Awesome, okay, so, you know how we did like a little bit of extras in that first one? We started with the squat, we added to the squat, I'm gonna add to this one. Maybe the addition is not for you, and that's okay, because I need to be able to rotate my ankle well and my knee well before adding any dips. If you don't have that rotation in you, you could stay right here. You could challenge yourself by adding in things like pulses. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sink down and you're gonna take your left leg, rotate it. You got both toes kind of pointing the same direction now. I'm gonna lunge and I'm gonna sink. Coming back, dip, rotate toe, sink. Toe back wide, sink. Rotate. And again, you have to add that rotation of that foot before we get that knee to drop, okay? If you don't have it, stay at just the wide squat. That's fine. Good job, good job. Great. So I'm doing my wide squat, followed by a rotate with a lunge. Good, good, good. Keep that going, keep that going. Feel those thighs. <clears throat> awesome, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move to the right side. So get over to your right, toes are pointing forward. Feet are now, if you need to like offset it, if it's a little too like stacked, you could open up and get the feet more set, hip width apart, okay? So you good? I'm gonna tip at my hip. 
Now I have options here. I can pulse. Body weight is really focused in this front leg. I'm not putting body weight back to the back leg. Body weight here, the pulse. You could focus it a little bit more by lifting the leg. Or if you want to, you could come down where the fingertips are on the floor. My spine is still straight. I bend both knees and I straighten. I bend both knees and I straighten. Okay, so my belly is just like way too big for that. But if you want to, you can even use your dumbbells up and kind of use that as stilts for your fingers. So I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna pulse. Go, let's go. So again, if you're on the floor, fingertips to be on the floor, you would bend both knees and then straighten through that front leg. Keep that going, keep that going. Bend and straighten. Continue to breathe. Feel that elongation if you're doing the one from the floor through that hamstring. <sighs> Strengthening and stretching that hamstring if your fingers are on the floor. You got it, you got it. Head in five, four, three, two, and one. Cool, we're not done yet. I'm gonna add in a little bit of moves. So you're gonna tap it in, and then we're gonna go wide. So in, wide, in, back. In, wide, in, back. Hold that leg, keep it steady, keep it going. We're in to wide. So my thigh is burning from just holding that little teeny bit of a lunge squat right here in this leg, while the other leg offsets the balance and just gets put some movement. My glute has to stay tight, my quad is engaged. And you can get down lower than me, I'm not super low. This is what I can do right now, okay? Good. Keep that going. And an eight, seven, almost. Six, close. Five, four, three, two, and one. Cool. Wide step, shake it out. Now maybe for you it's like a walkout, or maybe you could go fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, move it. Fast feet, move it, you got it. Good breathing. Shake it out, walk it out. Moving fast, whatever you got, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Chest stays up, feet wide, toes point wide. Squat down, rotate the toe, dip it down. Back wide. Dip it, rotate the toe, dip it down. You got it? Cool, make sure we get that full rotation of that toe before there's any dipping. Chest stays up, keep it going. Feeling those thighs, feeling those glutes, good job. All the while, core has like a slight bit of tightness, okay? Good. And look, I'm not sinking down super far right now. You can sink that butt down to being about the height of the knee. If you need that challenge, go for it. Cool. Now make your way to the left. Go to your left. You got it? Cool. Okay. So you have options. You can either do a pose. You could do like a single leg pose. Or you can go ahead and come down. Bend both knees, see how this knee is bent? And then I'm gonna stretch out through that front leg and the back leg's just kind of along for a ride. And I can only probably do a couple of those because my stomach is super in the way. Okay, find it. You got it? Let's go. I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna pulse. Breathe, good breathing. If you're doing the one with the fingertips on the ground, or you're doing single leg, it's a little bit harder, yes. Focus in on that glute. If you're doing the one with the fingertips on the ground, I love strengthening through the elongation of that leg. So as you elongate, you're feeling that stretch and strengthen, building that nice lean look to that muscle. Excellent job. Keep that going. Good job, good job. Head in five, four, breathe, three, two and one cool okay so now i'm gonna go ahead i come in and then i tap it wide 
all while holding my body weight here. I'm gonna try and keep that spine straight, and keep a little bit of a tilt so that weight is just really on top of that front leg. But over time, I do find myself kind of coming up right a little bit more. So do your best, let's go. Body weight hold, move that leg, creating imbalance. Front leg holds it down. Feel that glute, feel that quad, feel that hamstring growing stronger. Excellent job. Whew. Almost there. And in five, four, three, two, and done. Cool. Good job, good job. Shake it out. Let's go fast feet. Let's go fast feet. If you needed to walk out instead, that's fine. Shake it out, shake it out. Get it going. Move it out. You got this now. Good breathing. Faster, faster. Push it. Let's go. Let's go. You doing good? How you doing on cardio? Do you need a challenge right now with that cardio? Do you need a little bit more? If not, stay here. If you need a little bit more, we're gonna add something, okay? So I'm gonna go three, two, one, drop. Three, two, one, drop. Three, two, one. 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 You doing okay? Cool. You ready for a little bit more? You don't have to, but if you want to, I'm gonna go three, two, one, up on a jump. And again, you don't have to, you can stay right here. You can walk it out. Three, two, ha. 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 I'm gonna be honest with you. My hands are moving and they're looking really dramatic, but I'm barely getting off the ground. So you can get up higher than me. I'm just like barely getting there, but I'm, I'm doing the dramatics of the hand. Two and one, cool. Walk it out. Get that breathing under control. Nice deep breaths. Get yourself some water. Come back with your dumbbells, okay? I'm gonna actually lay out the mat and have my dumbbells and mat ready for on the ground. My last series is gonna be on the ground, a little bit of upper body, a little bit of core, and I'm gonna also kind of put my stretching strap there if you use one, because I'm just gonna transition doing the stretch after. Water, set up for being on the ground with your mat and weights. Okay, same idea as before. Do a little check on your body. Make sure you're ready to move on. Can you get in three deep breaths like that, back to back? Could you have a conversation? Those are good indications that you're ready to move on, okay? Listen to your body over my voice. If you are ready to move on, I'm gonna set up. I have my dumbbells on the outside of my mat. I have my mat out, I'm on my knees, okay? So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go through like a little bit of push-ups and you don't ever have to do push-ups. I'll give you some other outs. And then I'm gonna go hands overhead because I haven't gotten um, any overhead. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna show the overhead first. You never have to do hands overhead. So here I am, I'm in a kneeling position. If this is too much, you can sit down or you can just stand up, okay? So I'm gonna be right here in my kneeling position. If you have your legs a little bit more narrow, you're gonna be really working your abs, okay? So you can just be really tight in the abs. Shoulders back and down. Okay, cool? Here we go. I'm gonna go bicep curl, rotate, press overhead, down, down. Hammer curl, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, you got that? Cool. Now, I'm so sorry I didn't mention this before. If you can't go overhead, you could always choose to do no weight at all or just stay with hammer curls and just do hammer curls, got it? Cool. So reasons you wouldn't be able to go overhead, your heart rate is too spiked, you're not breathing under control, or maybe your shoulder just isn't having it today, okay? Good job. 
Couple more. Good breathing. And last one. Let's get it in. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go into a push up. I'm gonna put my uh, weights back down wide on the side. Now, if you can't do a push up at all, lay down on your back and do a chest press. So, laying from the back, dumbbells in hand, chest press. Now, if you can, you could be body as a box, right here, tight abs. You could be knees back, you can even lift it a little bit, or you could go onto your toes. I'm not gonna go onto my toes today. You can go onto your toes. So, here I am, I'm in a plank, but from my knees. And again, a push-up is a glorified plank. Join me now, let's go. And I'm gonna talk through it. My hands are down from my shoulder. They're a little bit wider, but they're not above and they're not below. Let me say that again. They're not above the shoulder, they're not below the shoulder. They're down from the shoulder a little bit wide. The elbow aims back and wide. This is a glorified plank. And what I mean by that is keep your abs tight. Keep that spine straight. Lower it down, lift it up, feel those abs. And in three, Two and one. Cool. Coming up, let me shake out the wrist. Give me big circles one way, big circles the other way, up, down, side to side, finger stretch. All that's great. Good stuff. Okay. You doing good? Hands up and guard. Rotate, lift overhead. Ten. Nine. Now you don't have to use weights for this. If this is too hard, you can do less reps or no weight. And then five, four, three, two, and one. Cool. I'm gonna set my weights down. I do not need them. Awesome. So we're going into a push-up. This is our last push-up. Again, if you cannot do a push-up, lay down on your back, do a chest press instead. I'm gonna stay on my knees, but you could do this with lifting a straight leg up. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to kick back a leg as I come down into my push-up position. Spine stays straight. Cool, you got it? Kick it back, come down. So now we have that offset. We gotta keep the core tight. We have a little bit more weight into the upper body because the leg is lifted. And again, you could do this from being on the toes with lifting a leg straight if you really want a challenge. I'm gonna have to stay on my knees. I like it from the knees though. I can really feel that extension as I kick back that heel, feel that hamstring and glute. Good job, good job. Let's do four more. And then four, almost. Three, core tight. Two, finish strong. And one, cool. Awesome, shake it out. Awesome, that's all we have time for. So we're gonna have to go ahead and go into a stretch. If you need a stretching strap, now's a good time to have it nearby. Go ahead and lay down on your mat, hands overhead, long body, long spine, stretch it on out. I'm getting that stretch for the abdomen, getting that stretch for the back, getting that stretch for the arms. Breathe. Nice deep breaths. Excellent job. Take a deep breath in, release, hug your knees in. Now with my knees, I wanna really hug them in. Maybe you can even start to add some spinal flexion to that low back, that's great. I can't hug them in too much, my stomach's in the way, but you might be able to. Go for it, continue deep breathing. Loosen up how tightly you're gripping that. Draw little circles with the knees. And we're gonna feel that low back trace, kind of that oval shape on the mat. Loosening it up. Ooh, it feels good. Go ahead and switch directions of that circle. Breathe it out. Excellent job. Cool, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the legs down. And I'm gonna use a stretching strap that you can use your hands. I'm gonna pass one leg off to the hands or strap, and then the bottom leg can either stay bent or go down, okay? Continue breathing. Nice deep breaths. 
feel that stretch through the hamstring. Now let's go ahead and get a little bit more calf. Point the toe down towards the face. Lift that toe up. Cool. Circle for the ankle joint. Give me big circles. It's about your range of motion. Don't skimp on it. Switch direction of the circle. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my arm, opposite arm, I'm gonna pass the leg off to that same side arm down to the ground, it becomes like an anchor. Straight leg across that body. So now I'm trying to keep my hip down, I got my arm wide, that leg comes across the body, straighten out the leg, point the toe down and breathe. Sometimes when things get challenging, we forget to breathe, you have to breathe. That's number one. Cool, go ahead and release that. Switch the legs up, here we go. Bottom leg can be bent or straight. Get that stretch in the hamstring. Continue breathing, nice deep breaths. Point the toe down. Lift that toe up. Big old circle for the ankle joint. Give me good range of motion. Switch direction. I take this one really seriously. I want to have healthy ankles. I'm going for a really big range of motion. Cool, now I'm gonna pass it off. Same side arm down to the ground. Try to keep the hip down. Bring that leg across the body. Straighten it out and point the toe down. Sounds like a lot going on. Pretty much just leg goes diagonal, straighten it out, point toe down, okay? I wanna feel that a little bit more along the outside of the thigh. Good breathing. Release that, cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make that number four, that ankle's on top of the thigh. I can slide my hands through and hug it into my body. Now you can do that, I can't do that anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit up. So here I am, you can also choose to do this one without being pregnant, it's not just because I'm pregnant I'm doing this one, it is a good one to do. So I got my ankle on my thigh, I'm stretching out, I got my hip stretch, a little bit of glute, feels great, work the breathing. Now slowly release it, switch it up. Again, hug it in or sit up too. Awesome, okay, so now I'm gonna extend my legs out and then I'm gonna fall forward, okay? So I want your feet about hip width apart, I want the heels pushed out, I want you to reach for your calves, your ankles, fall forward, get that stretch in the back and the low, uh, the low back and the legs. I can't fall forward with the stomachs. So I'm going to go legs wide. Go for it. Slowly up. Slow some feet together. Knees wide. I'm going to get that stretch in that inner thigh. Continue to breathe. Excellent job. From here, this is a more do what I say, not as I do, I can't do this one. So lay down on your stomach, lift up either through the forearms or the palms, and you wanna make sure you have a nice fluid spine. There's no um, kink in the neck, okay? I'm gonna move into cat-cow, because I cannot do cobra at this point, okay? Continue deep breathing. Now slowly, you're gonna press back into child's pose. So with child's pose, I'm gonna bring that butt down to the heels. I'm gonna just kind of go limp and melt down into the mat. Give me three deep breaths. Relax those arms. Relax low back. Relax the glutes. And one more deep breath. And slowly up onto all four core. Here I am on all four core. I'm gonna take a step forward and I'm gonna drive that back hip flexor forward. Driving my back hip flexor forward and getting the stretch in the hip flexor and the quadricep, okay? You can hang out here. This is a good stretch. You can modify. I've seen some of you guys do it where you lift the arm up, that's great. 
you could kick the toe up and uh, reach for it. These ones are harder, obviously, you do not need to do it, no pressure. Slow release, switch the leg up. All four core, step it forward, drive that hip flexor forward, get that stretch. Slowly, we're gonna release. Now, you're gonna take your time. Do not flip your head up. Take your time coming up to standing. Make sure there's nothing to trip on, okay? So I'm gonna clear it for myself. I don't personally like standing on my mat. You can do so. Just be aware, sometimes your feet stick, or I just don't like getting with my shoes on my mat. Coming up nice and slow, shoulders back and down. Good breathing, okay. So now my shoulders are back and down. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with, let's go one arm across the body. I'm gonna go other arm across the body. I'm looking at the time, so I did edit a few of the normal stretches I usually do. Feel free to add those in if you know. If you've been around, you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go elbow up. Switch it up. Elbow up. Cool. Shoulders back and down. Now I need you to breathe because a lot is being stretched. Make sure you're breathing. I'm going to go a little bit of spinal extension. Arms open, thumbs back, open wide, chest breathe. Now I'm going to go ahead and fall forward, spinal flexion. Hug it in, fall forward to what you feel comfortable. Hold. Continue breathing. Slowly bring that body up. Take your time up nice and slow, stacking the vertebrae one on top of each other. We'll get to the top. Shoulders roll back and down. And again, shoulders roll back and down. Keep them back and down. Chin goes down. With that chin down, I'm going to go ahead and roll my uh, chin shoulder to shoulder, getting a stretch for the neck. Cool. Now I'm going to come up neutral, a little slack jaw. Look over the shoulder as far as you can. Neutral, switch. Neutral, up. And back to neutral, awesome job. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Remember, I'm not teaching class on Friday. Um, there's classes on the YouTube channel, the classes we've done in the past, I have posted them for you. If you need any help with that, you could always email me at brittanyshadow at gmail.com.